Good morning, everyone. We are headed to Veg Fest. I finally figured out a better way to vlog in the car. <laughs> We're repping Galveston's Farmers Market. Galveston's own Galveston's own Farmers Market. I can't speak today. We are headed to take care of an errand, get some gas, and then we're gonna get on the road in my usual manner. More light. <laughs> well, it runs from 10 to four. It's at the Stafford Center in Stafford. Uh, it's about an hour north of Galveston, so go check it out. The event is free. If you want a tote bag, it's like five bucks, um, and you can get a bunch of swag in there. Um, we got ours in advance, so we have like the park passes, so we get to go in the express line. So anyway, um, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're not morning people. We're not. So. <sighs> It's going to be a long day. And I will check back in with you guys when we get to Bitch Fest. Peace. Good morning again. So we stopped to get gas and uh, we had to do um, an errand. It is so bright. It's super bright out here. Um, I'm really thankful today that the event is indoors because no. I mean, it's 85 degrees and it's at 1030. Um, the veg fest starts at 10 o'clock, started at 10 o'clock. And like I said, we had to do some, some things. <laughs> My husband's being silly outside the window, but you can't see him. <laughs> what? I was like, you can't see you on the thing. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, we are gonna get on the road and hopefully be there by 10 by 11 30 i was hoping to be there by 10 but things happen life happens i also had to go pick my car up from firestone because yesterday when um yesterday i took off work and my best friend it was my best friend's birthday we went to houston we drove her car or I drove her car and then we dropped my car off at Firestone. So my car spent the night at Firestone. So I had to go pick it up this morning. Um, anyway, so I'm tired, but I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and eating food and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah. Hello. So we just got some pushaline and Petro. we are getting back on the road. So we had to do some errands and now we are officially on the way to Veg Fest. Like officially. <laughs> We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> the Sanfords are coming. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat all the foods. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of awkward. How do you pick your nose with your thumb? I mean, your thumb's pretty big. You would have to have like he's got a pretty big nose, <laughs> <laughs> or like a pretty long thumbnail or something. Oh, I don't know. He's just like. Do you remember <laughs> back in like the day when you would see like someone with like a pinky nail like this long, and you're like, we know what you do. It's nasty. What it was for. Huh? That's not what it was for. That's what it was for. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for picking. <clears throat> I'm saying nasty. I'm thinking something else. Dude. It's like picking nose. It's for. No, it's for coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm supposed to say that's nasty. Yeah. Coke is nasty. Drugs are bad. Don't do them. There's a box on the road. Gonna have to get around that. Oh, this truck just almost like hit it on purpose. In front of us. Yeah. The truck in front of us just was like, there's a box. I'm gonna hit it. 
sucks. There's a box in the middle of the road. And it, but it looked like, it didn't look like anything like, that would contain like puppies or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> people do that shit. That's horrible. Well, um, do you remember Hulk Hogan? Mm -hmm. Okay, you remember him doing a movie where he was like some babysitter or something? There's the very beginning of the movie, he's driving on a motorcycle in San Diego along the water side, and in the background you see a guy holding a dog, and he literally throws the dog into the water. In the movie, it's in the movie, check it out. That's horrible! Yeah, yeah. Why would it's they do in that? in the movie. I don't know what Okay, happened. so should I take 45, or should I just... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't look where we're going. <laughs> I didn't even do that yet. <laughs> hey, you were supposed to do that. I mean, because I can take... Well, if you go straight, you're taking 45 regardless. If you go left at the light over there, then you're going to take Highway five, or 6. Highway 6 is going to be slower. I don't really want to take Highway 6. Just go straight. I just want to get... Yeah. I just want to get on the road, because I know it's off 59. Don't y'all be looking up these highways and figuring out what we did. Everybody knows where I live. <laughs> no. Galveston. That's why I have guns. <laughs> and editing that out. Aw. Can't do nothing. You're going to make me have to edit a lot, and I don't want to edit a lot. This is going to be a long video. You're going to have to edit a lot. You can't just put out like a seven hour video. Seven hour video. <laughs> I was going to pause. People want to see a 42 minute show <laughs> no. with no commercials. No, they don't. <laughs> I remember I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. And you couldn't upload a video past, I think, like, 10 minutes long. Yeah. Um, back in the day. And then they expanded it to 15 minutes long. And, like, you had to be, I think, a partner or something like that in order to use, like, unless, uh, in order to upload a, a longer video. Now you, YouTube's just like, I don't care. <laughs> you know I mean... Huh? No, we didn't do. What? We didn't get a wall charger. What stripes? Wah, wah, wah. Alright, where are we going? Stafford Center. S T A F F O R D C E N T R E. I already like the name of the place. Is it in Stafford, Texas? Yes. Okay. It's almost close to Stafford. So. They're, they're, they're not that close. They are kind of close. <laughs> I mean, four, five, five of the letters, our <laughs> seven letter last name are there. Yeah, that's, that's close, right? <laughs> Leave in the comments. Is that close? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it's close. It's just they have a cow on the back of their car. I want to know what it says. It's a sticker, not an actual cow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just let, let y'all know. Let me rephrase that. We would there definitely a, turn the camera if there, there was a There is a purple cow <laughs> sticker. And it says, Slow Mom? Slow Mom? Sl show Mom. Oh, she shows the it probably, livestock. Probably somebody's in the FFA. It's not very vegan. What? They're racing it and stopping it. Taking care of it. You should reach your destination. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you know what time we're getting there. Right. 48 Actually, miles. Actually, you won't see this until minutes. like tonight. I'm, getting, I'm going, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to vlog, um, vlog, vlog, veg fest when we get there. And hopefully, oh, my stomach's starting to growl. Yes. I was waiting for that. And now I have an hour drive. I'm going to be even hungrier. Oh, I'm eating. Give me all the foods. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> She's hungry. <laughs> I don't have any candy. I don't have any food. I got no carrots. Nothing. No carrots. <laughs> like, if you really want to make me happy and I'm hungry, give me hummus. I don't have any hummus. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, no. No, I purposely, as much food as I ate yesterday with my best friend, we went to Houston for her birthday, and we went to Demasi's. I did not stuff myself for that Demasi's. I saw the picture. That's all I Don't ate. Don't lie to me. You know I usually go back more than once. That's all I ate. How many plates? 
Where in that picture? Two. But I usually eat those and then I go back. In the comments. Is that a lot? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. I'll put the picture. It's a lot. But, um. GPS signal lost. So got to change that voice to Dr. Vader. Do you, you have you, that option? Uh -huh. Can you do you that? can do that. Then do it, because why are we to. listening to her instead of Darth Vader? Well, first off, to get there. why am I listening to her? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's the main question. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyway, so then Lyra. after we Lyra. ate... Lyra. What? Oh. That's so nice. after we ate at Damasi's, then we wandered around Trader Joe's, and then we kind of farted around Houston, and Literally. then... Then we went to Einstein Bros, and I had a the veggie one. Make sure when you order the veggie one, if you are vegan, to tell them no veggie schmear because the scrape cheese. Um, and if you're not vegan, enjoy yourself. Hey, this is a vegan and meat eater life. No, together. no, no. We love each other. Uh huh. <laughs> I like him, but no. <laughs> um, I don't like him, but God darn it, I love him. <laughs> I hate this. Well, I did say I do, so I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I was like, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. So, anyway, um, I was making sure your cup wasn't spilling over. Mm. Your cup wasn't runneth over. Should I have done this? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, anyway after we went and ate a little bagel we went walking around Baybrook Mall all over and Baybrook Mall has a new section um, that they've expanded on and it's actually really nice where David Buster's is and everything it's really nice so then we, we got a David Buster's that close yeah oh. <laughs> David Buster's is so expensive though but um, but it's so fun <laughs> so we um <laughs> We ended up going to uh, Salada, and I don't, it's the first time I've ever been to Salada. And if you know anything about Salada, then you already know, but um, it was really, really good. And um, they have, I mean, it's just, it's a giant salad bar for you that don't know. Um, and you basically, everything is so, like, it, 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 it really appealed to my OCD because all the little containers were square and everything was filled to the brim with beautiful fresh vegetables and it was all like just a rainbow of colors of foods and it was so pretty and it made my OCD very happy because everything was all neat and aligned and it was just really really pretty um yeah I'm a nerd like that but anyway it was really really nice and uh I think I pretty much got damn near everything in my salad so it wasn't cheap but you can make it cheap, but it wasn't cheap. And I got all the proteins. And it was funny because she yelled to the cashier, like, you know, there's a line. You kind of go in like a, you know, like an L shape. So you go down the line and then you turn and you go to pay. And so she's like, uh, she yells at the, the cashier. She's like, extra vegan. No, she goes, vegan with two extra vegan. And she was like, it was just because I ordered the tofu, the falafel, and avocado. Like, and those are extra. Mm. So, it was a little bit pricey, but it was humongous. So, I was miserable when I walked out of there. And then we had to walk back to the car. We were parked literally on the other side of the mall. <laughs> That's good. It was. It helped. But it was like, I was miserable until about, I don't know, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. It was bad. So, I was kind of hoping that I would... I was supposed to not eat that much yesterday so that I would be hungry for today, but I'm already hungry. My body's going, uh, you need to feed me, Seymour. Mine too. Are you? Yeah. I'm surprised. You normally don't have an appetite waking up. Like, this is this guy can eat, like, once a day and be fine with it. And Well, yesterday I didn't eat until you brought talk, you know, the Taco Bell home to me. That's right, she got me Taco Bell. There are vegan options at Taco Bell. He's not a vegan. But we're not going to get into all that on this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I didn't feed you till like 10 o'clock. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there were, he had sandwich fixings. He could have made himself a sandwich. There were leftovers in the fridge. Don't feel sorry for him. Y'all go right ahead and feel sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really hate being this late, but I mean, I'm going to be late to my own funeral, let's be honest. And if I'm not, like, you need to make sure, if I die before you, that the funeral driver, the driver driving my hearse, no, or the hearse driver, no, no don't he, leave. I needed to be late. Then I needed I need to be late. you to give me written, oh, it'll be detailed instructions, because you have my brain. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, what would you like to eat? What do I want to eat? <laughs> Out of it. Out of it. So, you know, I need this written it down. Will be in, it will be in writing. <laughs> but I'm going to be late to my own funeral. My mom told me this when I was little. It's a great thing to say to your kid. You're going to be late to your own funeral. Because I'm never, never on time. I am never on time. Never on time. I mean, if I'm early, it's it's really early. Like, like, I didn't sleep the night before early. <laughs> or maybe you got, like, three hours of sleep, and I'm like, I'm awake. Might as well go to work. But, man, I just cannot. I am a habitual late arriver. Is that the word? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm sure they got a name for it. <laughs> Actually, I've some seen, kind of phobia or something. Actually, I've seen <laughs> that the people, phobia of being on time. <laughs> people who are habitually late are more intelligent. You know, and I read it on the internet, so everything on the internet is true. You know who put that out there? Someone who's always late. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Studies show. Who study? Right? <laughs> who who this? <laughs> who study? What Why are you always late? No, I just I don't know. I don't know what it is. And I try. It's not like I'm just like, la, la, you know, whatever. But it just happens often, daily, daily and nightly. I don't know. We are in some traffic. It's moving, but it's traffic. I mean, I'm going the speed limit, so I can't really ask for more. I could ask for faster, but... I'm hungry. <laughs> These are usually how our road trips start out. I'm hungry. But I usually pack quite a bit of snacks when we travel. I think I still I th I think we still have some snacks from our last trip last month, don't we? I don't even know. I think we have some like Oreos, which are accidentally vegan. I think we have some Oreos left. But here. I no longer want Oreos. Yeah, no, no. It was one of those things where it was like, hey, this is accidentally vegan, and um, it's vegan junk food, and we're gonna travel in a car for eight hours. Um, sure. Let's get it. I mean, it was those and Snickers and I got like those gummies, those vegan gummies that you can find at like Kroger or whatever. They were not that good. They were okay. Um, then I had like, I don't even know what else I had, but a lot of the snacks I ate like just chilling while we were on vacation because there was a lot of downtime. We went to the country where we're actually moving. Um, I'm actually going to have a series and I've already started the series or I've already started the playlist on my channel. Um, I will link that channel below so that you can go see that on YouTube. Um, and it is going to basically chron chronicle, chronicle, Um, it's going to basically chronicle our move from Texas to Mississippi. So, I haven't really made a video about it or talked about it on here. And my intro for that will be, um, 
you know, explaining what we're doing, why we're moving, and everything like that. If you don't know, sometime next year we are moving to Mississippi where we have land. So, and I will explain more of that in the channel or the trailer for the series. So, it's going to pretty much go through everything when we start to like really start packing up and start, you know, getting everything done and, and not so much like a daily vlog, but it'll be as often as we can vlog um, about, you know, if we're doing something that day relating to the move. Oh, traffic for days. Always. Yeah, it's moving though. But anyway, so stay tuned. Woo! My bad. How many y'all yawned? Um... <laughs> Stay tuned for that. That's going to be in the works. In recipes. I have started posting recipes on my blog. And I'll post them in my Facebook group. And then I'll link them to my blog. So that, you know, I'm not clogging that up with a bunch of recipes and things like that. So it'll, main, it'll mainly be like, um, for now, it'll be just written and pictures and things like that but I don't know if I'll get to the point of doing like cooking videos just yet because I've got I've got to get a better setup for that if I do that so but for now enjoy what I'm trying to put out for you guys and we'll see you at VegFest peace we are here so we made it to VegFest <laughs> and my selfie stick decided to be uh, stupid, so it's not going to be able to be used, so... We're using the manual selfie stick. We're using the manual selfie stick today, so anyway, we're going to go check everything out. So behind me is the line for one of the restaurants, and it goes all the way around. You're fine. <laughs> we just bought some cookie dough, because... <laughs> cookie dough? Hello. But um, a lot of the lines are like wrapped around the booth. So it's like crazy, crazy packed. And I'm really, really happy that it's packed. It's going to be an awesome, awesome thing for, I mean. Flip this, side, we're really hungry. Yeah, we're really hungry. And the lines are like so long. And I, Govinda's is like literally around two booths. Um, their line is so long. So anyway, we're going to check out some more clothes. I bought a Vsop shirt, the Texan shirt, and we bought some cookie dough. And now we're going to check out some Go Vegan Teas and the Eco Dogs. And then finally we'll get some food. So, yay! Yum. 
Jason's getting one of those. I'm gonna get rice and tofu and some samosas. Go veggie! the outside food trucks oh yeah <laughs> yeah it's a bright out here it's super bright it's like yeah there we go that helps a little no we are um, outside now at the food trucks we pretty much hit almost every booth um, and we ate at Go Govinda's that was really really tasty even he had one of the wraps so that was pretty awesome and now we are in line for the raw chef uh, what is it Raw Chef Renee, and the line for the other one is a bit long, so I'm not sure if we'll hit both lines. We'll see. Hey guys, we are in the car. Finally, we were gonna stand in line and get um, something from Ripe, and then from um, what was it? Raw Food Renee. Yeah. There's food carts outside, but the line was crazy. Um, we are actually leaving VegFest. It is right now, it's one a little after one. We got here about 11.30. Mm -hmm. So it you can get through it pretty quickly. Most of our time was standing in the line for Govinda's. And honestly, I don't think that these vendors, um, they, they thought that this would be, they didn't plan for this. Um, it was packed. I mean, for, for a, ve a festival that doesn't have, um, like it's not like a comic-con it's not huge like that I mean it's a it's a but this is a big event and it I don't think the vendors anticipated it's a couple this, of thousand people here. yeah I, I don't think that the vendors because by the time that we got through the line um, for go vendas there was um, there was no tofu left there was no um, no samosas left and so I was gonna get the rice and the tofu um, and some samosas and he was gonna get the um, the wrap we ended up just getting two wraps and some rice and it was delicious and he actually had um, a, I'm like totally lost <laughs> not lost but okay so we decided we were standing out there in the heat and like my makeup is like melting off my face and uh, you know it's um, it's Texas it's June we're going to grade C vegan. <laughs> I haven't gone there before. I've never been there. Um, he's never been there. So we're going to go to green seed vegan and which way? Left. Okay. And so we are going to grub and like I said, we ate at, um, Govinda's inside, um, the event. So we were going to go to sinful bakery and, um, for the cinnamon rolls because they were like ginormous and uh so we got to the front of the well the line was pretty long so we walked to the front of the line um not to cut anybody or anything just to see what was on the menu and i asked her what are you out of and she's like everything but if you wait about 10 minutes we should have something else the lady next to me who was actually getting something whispered to me and said she told me that about 20 minutes ago and so I don't think these vendors anticipated for this many people. I really don't. Um, it was great. We got to meet the people from uh, the Austin chapter of Sea Shepherd. We bought a shirt, took a picture. We got to sit down and listen to some of the um, some of the Vegan Society of Peace um, Ask a Vegan panels that were going on. So we got to listen to in on that. Uh, we spoke with a bunch of uh, like animal activists we uh i got a pitbull shirt i'm so excited <laughs> um it actually matches my phone case so i'm super excited about that um i got a vegan society of peace texan shirt um he got a sea shepherd shirt so i mean it was a, it was a fun experience especially being a free event definitely check it out next year um i'm hoping that um you know the vendors for next year can can keep up because but like I said by the time that we got to any of these lines if we would have got in line at the sinful bakery by the time we got to the front of that line everything that was on display right there would have been gone already so um it, it you have you I don't think like I said they they did not anticipate so um it was wrapped wrapping around other people's booths so it was like 
it was just right a lot of people on top of everyone um but it was really really nice i enjoyed it what do you think babe i liked being it, it a, okay. being a non being a carnivore being a carnivore he's a vegetarian <laughs> Um, Who would have thought? A carnivore and a herbivore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and when we started dating, I was not a vegan, obviously. I, I'm a baby vegan. I haven't been vegan very long. Um, but I've always struggled. You can ask him. We've been together since 2008. I've always struggled with the ethics and you know and how it makes me feel when I eat it and things like that so I've struggled this has been a struggle probably since high school or earlier um, one of my best friends in school was a vegetarian and she would always like put the like you know meat is murder pig in my face and you know I love you Megan but you know at the time I was like shut up <laughs> no but I get it I get it now and I, I did get it then too I just didn't want to hear it just like everybody else hello Jeep um, and, you know, maybe we'll sway this guy one day, you know, so. <laughs> um, am I getting on the freeway? Yes. Left. Take a right. Take a right, okay. So, we are going to go and eat at Green Seed Vegan. I have heard that it is really, really good. But anyway, we're going to go check that out, and I'm going to vlog during that. And tonight, when I get home, I will edit everything together, and then you can see. If, uh, if I did catch you in a vlog, I don't know. I didn't get to meet anyone. I did say hi to Jesse, but I didn't like get to meet anyone. I know everyone's really busy and I didn't want to like stop and chit chat and everything like that. But, um, I had a lot of people say they like my hair. So that was cool. I really, I love, I love when people tell me they like my hair. Cause that's like, I'm one of those people who will be like, I love your hair. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, we're going to go eat. I'm going to vlog there. Oh, we, we were going to go to the hay merchant. I'd mentioned that. Um, there were quite a few different reviews on the Hay Merchant, and so I just, I, I decided that's warm. <laughs> I decided to make an executive decision and say no, because um, it was $18, and the, 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 the bun is not vegan. It comes with cheese, so I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't have cheese on it. I wouldn't have the bun, um, but I would, 59 North, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, but I would like ask for extra lettuce and like kind of make a lettuce wrap. So that was the plan, but for $18, nah, sorry, bruh. Um, but yeah, there's um, there's way better places that I would rather spend my money. And then there was a couple people who like posted like reviews about it, and that you know, like the 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 chefs are just basically not. They just don't they don't care, and the the, the presentation is sloppy. The food looks like crap. Um, the meat is not hot enough. The cheese doesn't even melt for people who were eating it and things like that. So. Um, eating the meat and the bun and everything. So I just figure why waste our money on, uh, on that when we can go to a badass vegan restaurant and eat some really good food that, uh, is good for you too. So anyway, I'm going to end this. We're getting on 59 and we're going to head to Green Tea Vegan. See you when we get there. Not only did I eat my burger, but mine too. Yeah. Texture. You couldn't do the texture at Green Seed Burger. No. I ended up getting the dirty, dirty burk, dirty bird, dirty whatever. Bird. It was like B U R Q E or so. I don't know, like dirty bird, whatever. It had avocado and like green chili. It was really good, but I agree with the texture of the chickpea patty. If it had a little more texture, it was just mush. Um, the cauliflower bites, those were good. Yeah. And um, your dill fries were okay. Like, they're all right. They're all right. Um, this juice, though, right here, this beets, was that beets, lemon, apple, and ginger? Yes. Um, 
and also it was very hot and muggy in there and um yeah so i know that the last time that he ate like at a, at a vegan restaurant actually it wasn't i don't even think it was a vegan restaurant it was a green sea uh it was uh not green we're at green sea um what's it called senior or something no 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 not senior uh, veggie he didn't eat there but i did and that was really good and that was in what san antonio or austin uh -huh. i don't remember um green vegetarian cuisine uh, that's where we ate at um we ate either in it was in san antonio yeah it was in san antonio <laughs> and now i'm like super full and super tired and today we hit some traffic but it was worth it and next year, if you get the chance, go check out the, um, it'll be the sixth annual Veg Fest. I, this is the first time I've gone and I will be going again next year. Um, so thank you Vegan Society of Peace for putting that together because it was awesome. Um, I'll be very, very packed. <laughs> I mean, packed. So. That's good. I'm glad it was, you know, that's yeah. cool. Definitely. I mean, if it wasn't packed, like, you know, if it wasn't packed and there was just like, you could walk up to any vendor, I mean, that's, it's like, eh, you know, you don't really. It takes the excitement out of it. It does. It takes the excitement out of it. When there's like a huge long line of people, you're like, ooh, what do they got? You know, or. What's going on you know, over here? What's going on over here? You know, you can see a crowd of people you want to know. It's human nature. You're curious. But overall, I'm glad that I went and um, sorry that I'm going to miss the meetup, which was or is at uh, like three to four or something like that um but we're freaking tired and we are gonna go home possibly take showers and naps because it's saturday and uh i've got belly full of vegan goodies and i'm actually excited to go through my swag bag and uh i'll actually vlog everything that we bought um and everything that we uh got in our 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 little goodie, um, bags. goodie bags our, swag, our yeah. swag bags so um i'll vlog that when we get to the house and um yeah so happy saturday and i'll see you guys the next one hey guys it is about 10 o'clock on um saturday night i came home and passed smooth out so Excuse the way I look. I didn't vlog my, um, all my swag and everything. I did take pictures, but I didn't vlog it. Because I didn't, yeah. I didn't do it until I woke up. <laughs> because I fell asleep. And I had a good five hour nap. I'm still tired. So I'm going to get to editing all these vlogs. Piece them together. Uh, cut out some of my husband's, uh, antics. But, um. Anyway, how can you not want to, like, not do anything, though? Like, I want to sleep. I just want to sleep and snuggle. This is one of my babies. We call her Sideways Sleeper. I wonder why. This is Emma. <gasps> Emma, say hi. <laughs> Did mommy wake you? Anyway, guys, I've had a lot of fun at VegFest. Um, I can't wait to go next year. I'm going to read my little Veg Fest pamphlet. And I see that there's another thing in October. Um, it's like October 1st through the 7th or something. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to link like everything we like saw and ate and went to. I'm going to link all their information in the box below. So. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna get to editing my vlogs, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.